Alright guys, we're going to be going back to the Renoa Crowns. For those of you that don't have Laguna, don't have um, Renoa, we're going to only use 5 star units. So we're going to grab a Renoa friend. You are going to want to grab a Renoa friend. And we're going to be using the 4 star Zell, the free unit Adia, the 5 star unit Squall and Selfie. And this is the party we're going to use to get our clear in. So let's get in here and give it a go. Basically, Selfie plus a Renoa friend can carry this fight for us. So the first thing we're going to do is once the... Um, uh, the auto casting and all that finishes. Okay, Zell is going to quad cast, and we're going to use Water from an Esper, by the way, and he's going to soak all the counter attacks. So that way, all of these counter attacks hit Zell. Squall, Lone Lion Squall, the five star, is going to use one of the Breaker materials. It can be literally any of the Breaker materials you want. We're going to use Dark Breaker. Um, the friend is going to go to the shift form and use the shifted LB. Selfie is going to quad cast. We're going to do um, wall on turn one. We're going to do boost. We're going to use slot to try to unlock her good skills, but if they don't unlock, it's okay. And then the last action, we're going to use furious waterer for the water imbue and amplify. And then Idea is going to quad cast. We're going to do. Um, Astral Power. I don't really know specifically what we're doing. <laughs> we're going to do Astral Power. Um, Human Killer doesn't matter. We're going to do Astral Abyss. I guess Astral Barrier. And I don't know. I guess we're going to use last action, her cooldown. Okay. So Zell went first with AoE. He's going to eat the counters. And he's wearing really high spirit gear. He's passive provoking. And he's also using... Um, uh, what's it called? Evasion as well. Okay, so here is the hit point go to one attack. Not really too big of a deal here. Okay, so what we're going to do after the auto casting, we're going to use Adia to do her LB, and she's going to go first in the clicking order. The, the Renoa friend is going to quad cast, and we're going to use Darkra this turn. We're not going to use Tornado because the boss has high wind resist. Zell is going to Irony's Ring and quad cast Wardera. Now, Lone Lion Squall, we'll just go ahead and sing Zidane's STMR, just for a slightly bigger stat buff and all that. He's basically done. You could use him to, like, buff and deal damage and all that. Honestly, it's not needed. I think just buffing the party is overall better. But, again, you could use Squall to cap if you want to. Um, this is the 5-star Squall. Keep that in mind. Uh, and then Selfie is going to... Now... If her good skills had been unlocked, Catastrophe or The End, you definitely want to use those. They'll be up here at the top of her skill list. That's very small chance for them to unlock per turn. Obviously, ours did not unlock, but that is okay. So we're going to quad cast, and we're going to do Triple Furious Waterer. And then we are going to do, you know what? Did I do Intense Waterer last turn or Furious Waterer last turn? It looks like I didn't use the Amplify last turn. Okay, so last turn I should have done Intense Water Up for the Amplify. Whoops. So we're just going to Furious Water Up three times, and then we're going to do Trabia's Light as the last action to heal the party. And now let's go ahead and deal some damage here. Okay. And then the last action will be the Trabia's Light from our... Selfie. There we go. Okay. So we killed the small things. No problem. Now we got dispelled, but Squall will automatically rebuff the party, which is nice. Okay. And now we get some SLBs going on. So we're just going to reload right here once auto casting finishes. So we're going to now SLB Adia. Um, the Zell and Renoa will do the same thing. Selfie will check if our skills were unlocked. They unlock randomly per turn. Again, none of the skills unlocked, so we're just going to triple cast Furious Warder up. And this is really irritating that I'm doing this without any kind of Amplify. But actually, that makes it even better, kind of in a sort of. It shows you that even if you mess up and don't have an Amplify, we're still fine. Um, so if we did have an Amplify, we'd be doing a lot more damage. Anyway, here comes some more attacks. Um, the Friend is a little squishy. We have some Guts on the party, so there you go. 
I believe that's a fire attack, so you could use a fire resist buff if you really wanted to. Um, but we, we didn't really worry about it. Uh, so now Adia will triple cast, or quad cast, Darkra. Um, we'll just check, just for, just for funsies. Did they unlock? They still didn't unlock, so no big deal. So we did this whole fight with no Amplify and no good unlocks. Extreme War, is that the... I don't know. We're gonna just stick with Wardera. And there it is. So there's basically the clear with only five star, although we did use good gear, keep that in mind. Um, and it does feel really bad that I never use the Amplify on our, uh, our selfie. Anyway, and there it is. There is our all mission clear. So keep in mind that attack on turn three does deal pretty high damage. Um, you're gonna wanna have guts and all that on your party if need be. So here is the team that we use. Zell is our passive provoker with evasion on an Esper for chaining, bolting strike, magical frames with the Irony's Ring. Uh, passive provoke, 4800 magic, and there we go. He's just a four star unit. I didn't even pot his MP. I didn't door pot him. He's just really only here for this one fight. Um, and don't laugh me for door pride and his attack power. That's from way back in the day when I intended to use him and never did. Um, anyway, th there's his gear. Just literally kind of whatever. Just full evasion and passive provoke. Um, Selfie is using a two-handed whip build. Um, you want to use a two-handed either whip, rod, or what's the other one? Adia imperils. Adia imperils three up uh, three weapons. One of them that Ad Adia imperils. So the serpent bone whip is a good one. You know, a good rod, whatever. Something like that. So give her your good gear. Um, you know, make sure she's door potted, etc. Uh, and then here's the setup. And, you know, damage versus machines. And then just, you know, a good card. Um, Lone Lion Squall. I geared him for damage. We never actually did damage. So we gave him Zidane's STMR and then a Breaker Materia. That's really all he did. <clears throat> and I geared him for damage just, just to show you if you wanted to deal him damage instead of using I wanted to go with you, there's an option. You could have capped on turn three with the SLB, but we didn't need to. Sorceress of the present idea. Let's check real quick. It's I know it's three weapons. Rod, whip, or throwing. We could we could have we could have used throwing weapons on um on selfie instead. But whatever, you get the idea. Um so again, just damage. I'm actually really curious to see the damage breakdown in a moment, but there it is you know, damage versus uh, machines. And we are we are using very good gear in the party, keep that in mind. So um, 280 LB and max, uh, or 275 machine killer. And then here's the friend. You do want to grab a friend that is geared for the fight. So this one has maxed out machine killer. This one is already crowned. Um, it's only an EX2 friend. And they do, they do, they do have um, a war with boon equipped, which is great for turn three. Um, otherwise, grab one with high fire resist. Or is it wind? I, you know, I th this is you know shame on me for not not looking up the fight in advance. Oh, actually, I can check right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Megiddo flame is oh, it's non-elemental. It's non-elemental. Ignore that. There's you don't need fire or dark resist. It's non-elemental damage. So you need either guts or good mitigation. Um, guts is the the recommended route. And there we go. As you can see, five star selfie never got our unlocks. We never used the amplify. So, you know, on turn one, use Intense Warder. That will increase Selfie's damage by a huge amount. I can't believe that I didn't do that. Big whoops. Um, but there it is. And then Adia did pretty good damage. She's a free unit. And then the friend um, does the most damage. But as you can see, it's overall decently spread out. Okay. Hope it helps. See you again in a bit.